Hello everybody, welcome back. So what we did in the first hour was we did the overview presentation of um, Egeria. Um, and then we talked a little bit about the Egeria project and where the, the key resources are like the repository, sorry, the, the Git repositories and the community guide if you remember that. Um, and then we talked a little bit about what's gonna happen next in the next section where we're gonna use different tools to configure and set up Egeria. Um, and um, that's actually where we're going today. So if you're following on, on the main site, we have, we have this overview agenda here, and then underneath it are the links to each section. So we've done the first two, and we're now entering into the third section. And uh, I'm gonna click down, and then you'll see in that section what's coming next. And you'll see that this particular section, because it's so long, is divided up into eventually we'll get to 30 minute slots um, a little trick if you look at the url uh, they are all numbered according to where we are in the hierarchy so we're on day one section three and this is running Algeria. Um, the first thing that happens here um, is uh, we're going to dive into the details but just to let you know that uh, there are many choices in the way that you run Ageria. At the end of the day, Ageria is a, 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 a jar file with a main. So we can run it directly on the machine, on your machine, the, if you've got Java, the Java runtime environment. Um, we can run it in a container. So we're going to, this is what we're going to start with is running it in a Docker container that's already been built. Uh, we're also going to take that single container because that gives you an Ageria runtime but given Ageria is an integration technology isolating it in its own container where it can't talk to anything is is not so helpful so we're then going to take that contain that image uh, that container and run it in um, with, with, with other containers that have other technologies such as Kafka and, and things that we might want to integrate that's stage two and then um, you'll play with some of the capabilities there and then the final stage we're actually going to use kubernetes and and partly we're showing you these different methods so that you get experience with the different ways of running Algeria. Um, and basically this will create the same environment that you see in docker compose but with kubernetes um, and kubernetes gives you an active managed orchestration whereas docker compose starts everything and then its job's done um, so it's great for development, but you know, if you're in an operational environment, then Kubernetes gives you that extra, that extra piece. So as I say, we're going to start with um, Docker, then go on to Docker Compose, and then on to Kubernetes throughout today. Tomorrow, um, which is the developer section, we're actually going to down, we're going to take a jury off of GitHub and build it. So that's when you'll need the Java compiler and things like that. But we wanted today, today's to not involve dealing with the code effectively. So that's why we're starting with a Docker container. So um, the first step is to go into the platform setup and configuration. And we're going to do the first thing, which is to get the thing, the different um, software that you need onto your machine, which is this first section. And then we're gonna configure the platform. If you remember, that's the blue box in the, on the green clouds. And then we're going to put a server on top, which was the yellow dot. We go back to that first picture. Uh, that will be enough till the next break. And then we'll go on to um, bringing that server up on its own, switching to Docker Compose, working with multiple servers. Um, and then the final section, we're going to add in uh, even more types of servers and uh, switch to Kubernetes. So that's, that's the sort of the, the, the three main parts of what's happening here. So if we go down into setting up the prerequisites, uh, the two main things we need are Docker, which is the runtime to run our image, and Postman, which is a um, REST interface for, REST, sorry, a tool, a client tool that allows you to type in REST interfaces and then fire them at the server. And this is really nice because you can see all the parameters and the responses coming back. Um, and so that's 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 the uh, the second bit now. We've assumed that you don't know these tools. So these first two links tell you how to download and bring that software onto your machine. Then if you go into the Docker tutorial, this will tell you about where to get um, the Ageria 
uh, no, sorry, the first one tells you where to get the Ageria um, Docker image, but it's actually here. Um, and then it talks about how to use Docker to, um, so this is pulling down the Ageria image and how to map the port so that you can connect your browser into the Ageria platform, the OMAG server platform that's running inside the Docker container. Um, and the Docker, when you start the container, it will automatically bring up the platform. Um, and then we'll look at the, um, the Docker desktop. And it just goes through how to start and stop your container. Um, we then have a little play because there's, there's an ability to, to basically launch the browser. Um, and then we have a little play with Swagger. Um, and you'll get to run what we call the platform origin method. And um, uh, and then we come back and then there's other useful things. So if you double click on the, this white space here, it opens up this and you can see the logs for running Ageria. You can see the properties that were used inside the container um, and stats. Um, and then that's it. So that takes you through what Docker is. And I'm going to go back to the, the things. And then if you go into the Postman tutorial, um, it talks a little bit about Postman itself, but it provides the information for loading our um, collections. And there's a, a set of variables for the um, uh, for Ageria. And then we have a whole set of pre-canned uh, methods, sorry, well, requests, and that's these. And these will make the follow on um, sections much, much easier because all of the rest commands that you need are already typed in. And so you can just select them and issue them as you're working through. So um, the, both of those tutorials are worth going through because they set up a lot of the groundwork for um, your work going forward. Um, and again, we have the test yourself. So uh, you can either look at the questions and, and think about them as you're going along or or pick it up afterwards but uh, all of the answers are in are in the sections so um, without further ado i will pass hand it over to yourself to have a go with uh this section the running Nigeria prerequisite section <laughs> 